So when we went to Egypt on the Uncharted X tour, we went to Dendera, the yep. temple of Hathor. Yep. And there was a a ceiling there that had some yep. amazing art it. on it. And everybody was taking pictures of it. Yeah. Saying that you told them to take pictures of this. I have a I did. I have a photo right here that I want to hey. share with you. All right, please do. Here it is. Can mm. you see that? Yeah, I sure can. So I, I'm just curious, why, why did you ask people to take photos of this roof? Wow. It's uh, a long story. It is a long story. You, you've only got part of it here, but the ceiling. Yeah, well, oh my gosh. Um, well, what's going on? What's, what's, ha what's happening in this scene here? Uh, it looks like it. It looks like ancient space travel. Mm. I wish I had a bigger. I took a video of it, but I couldn't get it on here. Uh huh. Sure. Well, oh my gosh. Well, there's some very interesting stuff going on here. You know, I actually have some photographs. I wonder if they're handy. There's the whole thing. Yep. So what's happening here? So are we do we read this from left to right? Yes. Okay. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I would say that that it probably makes more sense to read from the left to the right, because, for example, you see the fourteen gods, they're on an ascending staircase, mm. right? So it would make sense that you would be reading in the same direction that they're obviously moving. And facing and who's this guy right here both yeah actually when i went to egypt i was went out with a, a she was a phd egyptologist from egypt she said that that the presumed correct pronunciation and i didn't didn't know this until then but it was is tahot 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 yeah okay Okay, so that's Tahot right there. And who is this leading the entourage of gods right here? Horus. That's Horus. And then who have we got? Um, he was the know. king of the gods. Um, Osiris. Uh, Osiris, yes. Mm -hmm. And what are they doing? Well, they're they're... They're walking, they're ascending this ramp or staircase towards this thing right here. Oh, I could show you something else here. Uh, Is that the moon? I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Uh, it sure looks like a space travel situation. So I want you to look at the position of Tahot's hands. And then let's look at these other attendant gods. What are they doing? They're all got their same position, aren't they? Hmm. Look at here, these guys down here. Oh, look at here. Hmm. And what's this guy doing? He's got his arms in another position. Well, what if I told you that there was a way of controlling energy by using ritual and by using motions of your hands and your arms and other things like that? Makes sense, doesn't it? Hmm. We've known that magical work and magical invocation has involved that. But what, what's been missing is a scientific explanation. The scientific explanation is that once you know the correct motions and positions, that the human body itself can be a plasma generator. In fact, how wow. do you... Yes. Okay. Now... I'm going to show you something else here. 
that I figure is one of the most important connections. And you'll see it momentarily here. Well, this is Osiris. And you know, Osiris was resurrected from the dead, right? And... Oh, notice, wow, same hand movement. Same hand movement, right. Why? Because the key to restoring the life force into Osiris is through the plasma energy. And that's what they're doing here. They're, they're, they're using these, this methodology of controlling the movement of the plasma energy by manipulating with their hands. You see this over here? This, this, this is it's just arbitrary. It's, it's critical to understanding exactly what's going on here. The, see, look, here, here you've got the, the descending bird, right? This is the symbol of the cosmic plasma right here, the cosmic life force, and it's being controlled by these attendants. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the next one. Same thing, right? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and reveal a secret at this point because it is that time in the evolution of this planet that it's time to, you know, as Jesus said, shout the the end of the age. It'll be time to shout the secrets from the rooftops. Okay, so <laughs> now take a look at this. Okay. Same thing, right? Right. Why are they why are these positions of the hand so important? Why? Because they've set up what they're doing is they're creating a circuit. They're using their own bodies to create a circuit. And it's a lot more elaborate than that, but it involves a whole type of a ritual in the correct in 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 a space that has been designed for it using the using the requisite geometry and orientation and all of that. Because what you're trying to do here is you're influencing the cosmic life force that is utilizing the plasma as a vehicle. Okay. So now let's look at the next image. Hmm. That's worth a hmm. In fact, it's worth mm hmm. Mm hmm. What's George doing there, the father of our country? He's directing the plasma energy. He is. And 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 he's showing he's got the Masonic apron, right? This is George Washington as a Freemason. Mm -hmm. He was Grand Master of Masons in Virginia. And one of the secrets is, is that concealed within the ritualism and ceremonialism and symbolry of Freemasonry are crucial elements of the ancient lost technology. And it's been preserved by Freemasons for centuries, if not thousands of years. So when the world is ready for it, it's there. Wow, you're really giving me the secrets now. It's a big one. This is a big one. So, Wow, I got a lot to think about. Good, because there is a lot to think about. Yeah, um, <clears throat> you know, sometimes it's like so much information you're giving me, it's like, now I'm going to have to go sit up alone on a mountain for like the next three weeks and just process all this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Um, Thank you.